Now, in our earlier videos, um, I've talked about the core challenge and about the importance of research. Our research now, our original research was done in biomechanics lab. We had a thousand four sensors in each shoe. These were cut out to fit the shoe, but this is exactly what we use. These, this is the plug for the electronics. In those days, we didn't have wireless, and uh, each subject was tethered to the computer. And that was our study that began in the late 90s all the way through 2006, close to 2006, 7. So, <clears throat> you've seen all of that. Uh, and when you do research, you want to have a subject pool where you can make a, an absolute conclusion, uh, proof of concept, uh, do the experiment. You don't want to, well, my research shows based upon what an two or three observations on a range. And then we have conclusions. No. When we look at the body and all the factors that go into it, when we found the nine stance widths, the Fibonacci sequence, that we use for exercise, we lay that, that uh, stand, those stance widths down, all nine, and we do the exercises within those. And we do, when, we, when I travel now to uh, France, uh, England, uh, Shanghai, uh, Seoul, Korea, working with, in Seoul, Korea, working with KPGA as well as the KLPGA, we'll do the measurements, and then we'll do the exercises in groups, and then we do the testing of the step forward, step back. We see the, the hips parallel. We see the uh, transverse uh, and uh, um, the coronal uh, sagittal planes, all absolutely perfect. And that's where the core challenge comes from. But in terms of the research, I want to show you how we do group data collection uh, while we train. I, use it, I do it while I train, so I can take all the participants through the measurement system, lay out their nine stance widths, and then take them through the exercise. And here's a short video in Seoul, Korea, doing a large group of Korean uh, PGA professionals as we go through training and then testing. Deep breath. Deep breath. Deep breath. Turn your palms out. Pinch your shoulder blades together. Lean back. Deep breath. Number nine. Number nine. Palms roll forward and forward, shoulder blades or shoulders roll forward to the stern. Two deep breaths. Stand tall, shoulders roll forward. Two deep breaths. Palms out, pinch the shoulder blades together. Two deep breaths. Lean back. Two deep breaths. Number eight. Well, that's how we do research in groups. That's how I, I, we're able to absolutely conclude this is what these exercises do. We create core symmetry. Not only that, we go into the grip, we go into posture, we go into all the testing in groups of 30, 40, 50, 60 uh, professionals at one time. So uh, uh, please understand that. So we're not presenting content that is based on a, uh, a belief. We be, it's, it's based on factual research. Proof of concept is so very important. So don't embark on any exercise, any golf swing, until you understand, until you have a proof of concept.